Hey guys, this is Uncle here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a full unboxing and review of possibly the best pencils ever. Now, I've used these pencils at school. They're actually Christmas of not 2015, but 2014. My mama got my friend some, or they actually had two packs, but she lost one pack, and we found it, and I was like, well, I like different pencils, so let me try them out. And I didn't really expect anything out of them. But to my surprise, I still use them to this day. So what they are, are these Stay Sharp pencils. That's what they're kind of called. And they basically have little lead modulars with kind of like pencil tips and a little bit of graphite, just like a regular pencil point, but you don't have to keep on clicking the little thingy just like lead pencils. This is basically a mix between a lead pencil and a standard graphite pencil. So they come in a pack of six and they have 11 lead modulars in each pencil. So that's 66 lead modulars. Now I'll usually use the pencils till they break and I'll talk about that in a minute. That is my only, only kind of thing I do not like about these pencils because they just, the tips of them, they break off, but I think I might have a solution to that. Um, we'll test that out in maybe another video, maybe in this video, you never know. Um, so they come in a gray, black, kind of lime green, like grass green, you could call it. Um, like kind of the diamond company blue, but not really. That's, um, the black one's definitely my favorite color and kind of like a darkish purplish blue. So these are the clear body with colored lead modules and they have some with colored bodies and white lead modules, which I honestly like the best because it gives the most color. So when you change out the color of the lead module, it is still the same because I change out lead modules because I go, I'll go through a pencil in like a month or I'll go through tons of lead modules and I'll have to change them out. And it's basically, it just looks terrible. I like to keep everything one color, so that's why I opt for the white lead modules. Now, sadly, they don't come in white with the clear body, but I wouldn't really want that anyway. And I don't think you can buy just the lead modules, which I wish they would do. If you're watching this, stay sharp. Please let us do that because that would be awesome and make the little tips a little stronger because I'll go through one in about like one and a half weeks and one like some I really really like and I kit out and stuff I put grips erasers everything on them that I love and then they break and then I basically start crying okay not really but I'm really upset so let's just unbox these now so there will be a little slit of tape right here, kind of like a um, circle piece of tape thing. So you just want, you're just gonna want to cut that, and then they will just open up, and then the pencils will be ready to get out. You can just kind of slide them out. Now I'll get the black one for this. As you can see, they're like plastic um, pencils. And they have this um, plastic protective tip right here. And you can see this little uh, plastic tip thing, which actually does add some protection to this little piece right here that kind of um, keeps the little lead module from wobbling. And that is what breaks. Like it kind of splits in half. And then the lead, when you try to write, like it starts going like this. And it don't really stay in one point and it's really hard to write so i mean that could be better but that is the only complaint actually i have about this um you can see their logo stay sharp printed right there on the pencil now that does not come off if you're wondering about that it just don't and it also has a color-coded metal eraser holder you could call it i don't know what it's called and a color coded eraser. Now to note on the colored bodies, it just has a silver kind of metal eraser holder. But on these, I'll talk about the erasers I use with them in just a minute. Um, and it just requires you to take this little metal piece off, or aluminum I guess you could say, if you want to be so specific. Um, so here it is up close. 
Um, there it is. It's just your standard metal kind of piece for a pencil. So, put that off to the side. And the erasers on these could be better also. But, I mean, there's nothing we can really do about that. And if you put one of the erasers I would recommend on it, you don't really have a problem. So, now let's talk about the erasers I would recommend. Now, they are Papermate Arrowheads. And they are a lot of generic brands. Um, I know Staples brand has some kind of competitors, I guess you could say. Yeah, those don't work. So, here's the pencil that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I don't want it to get broke because I love the black ones. The black ones are my favorite by far. So let's just see if we can reinforce these. I mean, you could fix it if you had that little plastic piece that broke off. But I don't. It's probably somewhere in my pencil box. You know, by now it's probably somewhere in, like, Australia being eaten by an ostrich. I don't know. So let's go reinforce this, hopefully. Now, the one bad thing about this is it renders that little, yeah, I don't have it down there, the little cap thing, it renders it useless. So you can kind of just, I don't know. If your friends have these, give them away or something. I don't know. I just like to keep them because I lose them constantly and you know it's really not fun and they're clear so I might have to spray paint them because clear things are very hard to find yes indeed they are so what I have gotten is duct tape and sure enough it was already cut to basically the size I needed it and it wasn't all gone I got some green duct tape and you see they are like cut into little tiny little pieces so the one on the far right you see this little forest piece right here is the part that breaks so what i thought we were going to do is get some duct tape and just wrap around it and make sure that if it does break that it stays together and it will in theory hopefully and now this is just in theory it will help the pencil stay together till you can get a new one because in the middle of the school day like in the morning when it breaks it's not that fun surviving the rest of the afternoon if you don't have another one and that's happened to me many times so i'm not saying this is hate to this company i love this company and i'm probably gonna be using these in college in 20 years if they're still a thing hopefully they are um, and I give these to my friends and they break and that's why they complain about them. So if this works, I'm probably going to wind up with a roll of duct tape at school. Okay, and that's the honest truth. We're just going to want to get, now I would say this is about maybe like a millimeter. I don't know, we learned that in school. So, but I don't really remember if like, I know you can measure like a decameter like that in an inch. Like, I don't know, I'm getting off topic. See, I'm very, very like easy. I'm a very easy person to get off topic with. So, I'm just going to want to wrap that around and continue to wrap it and make it as neat as possible. So you see, I'm making it neat. And actually, you know, I got to wondering, remember when I said the little cap thing would be totally useless? You know, would this create like a tighter seal with the gap? Genius. We could get my Dremel and like Dremel it out so it still works. Or, you know, I never used caps in the first place, so we could just leave it off. But if it still worked, it can make it complete. And when I leave it on my desk, I like to have it complete in its entirety so hopefully this will work um you can see i got some duct tape just right here and okay yeah um the pencil points still come out and actually how you reload this is you can either get um pencil points from another pencil and um get in the back now this eraser is wore down because obviously i use erasers at school because everyone makes mistakes the way you reload it is you just take off the eraser and you get the, actually I need to reload mine now. So you get the dull, when it's a dull tip, just get it and take it out. And here's a good look at the little modulars. So it's really not wanting to focus. 
at all. <laughs> so there's a good look at the modular. It's probably not focusing because it's black out of all colors. The darkest color in the world. I don't know. It's probably the darkest color in the world. I don't know. Um, so you can just cram it in the back, and it should fit nice and snugly. And then you have a nice sharp point that could probably get you expelled for being a weapon at school. But schools these days, it probably could. So this is um just my review of these um stay sharp pencils. So I would recommend it if I can figure out how to do like a little Amazon card thingy. I'll leave them right in the top right corner. I don't know if it's gonna be there or there because we're making it backwards. You know, I think it's gonna be up there. Though. I don't know. See, it's getting off top again. So these look great, and I'll probably get some color matching duct tape because green. Well, basically, the way the reason I like black is anything can go with black, and anything can almost anything can go with white, but anything can go with black. So that is why I like black pencils. You see, black and green make a good color. By the way, if you do recognize this kind of background. It is the background from like the how to make a razor thing, the Razor 360 restoration. This is the background from it. So um, I'll leave the card um, at the top right corner to the playlist. So I mean, I guess I'm guessing that's it for the video, unless there's a bonus clip. I don't know. Um, but I don't know my little. Um, thingy contraption is not it. Okay, there we go. We got it out. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Make sure you tell me how many times I said this is the best pencil in the world in the comments section below. So as always, is that I'm. Oh my God, I'm under overexposed. Or back there is I'm overexposed. Um, but who cares? And I don't really haven't learned the exposure and ISO and all that on the camera yet. But I will, and but I just got it yesterday, so that's kind of my reason. So as always, this is I'm Company. Stay frosty. And that's an additive like this and overexposed. That's sort of the opposite. My hair. Wait, does this help? No. Oh good. So deal with it, okay? Well, the video's over, so you don't have to deal with it anymore, so goodbye.